Hi Marisol, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying my best and hardest to recreate this. This is the picture that I got it from and I'll list down the girl's Instagram. I just found it on Instagram and I fell in love with it and I was so inspired. I was like, I want to do something like that. So this is what it turned out like. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay guys, let's get started. If you hear me sniffling, I'm sorry I'm getting sick again. Anyways, I'm applying this next base and then I'm going to set it with the Wet n Wild Contouring Contour Palette. It is in Caramel Toffee. Now I'm applying tape so that when I take it off, the eyeshadow has that nice winged cut look. And then I'm going into the Zula by Juvia's palette, taking this hot pink and applying it, making kind of a wing shape. And you don't have to worry about it being so pretty, just apply it and then we're going to blend later. Then with that purple next to it, I'm going to apply it blending down towards my inner eye corner. I'm going into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going into that beautiful blue and I'm going to pack that on on top of the purple just so that we get that nice violet purple blue shade. With the color right above it, I'm going to apply it lightly right over that blue. You want it to look like it started from that shade that we're applying now and it faded into that dark blue that we previously applied. Because I kind of lost the shade of the dark blue, I'm going back into it and just reapplying. You could do anything, go back and forth, just make sure you kind of get that ombre effect. Then I'm going into that purple and applying it to the outer part because we kind of lost it with the blue. So just go ahead and darken that up, deepen it up, define it more. What the heck? happening apart from the problems that are happening i'm trying to get that pink wing and bring it back into the eyeshadow and it didn't really work but it's okay because i fix it later so this eye is being weird and like what is that so i'm gonna completely take it off and start over on this eye because well, i'm gonna go take you off to wow look how good that was we're just gonna pretend that this eye is working with us, but let's move on. To cut my crease, I'm mixing the LA Girls Pro Concealer in Porcelain and the Maybelline Cover Stick. And then when you cut your crease, you want to make sure you just stop kind of halfway. On the first upper half of the cut crease, I'm going to immediately go into the Juvia's palette and get the green shimmery color. And I'm just going to pat that in. Right next to that, I'm going into the Violet Voss palette, the rainbow one, and I'm going to mix together Seaform and Fiji, and I'm just going to apply that right next to the green. You want to really make sure you blend the two, making it look like it's fading into each other. I like going back and forth with the colors just so that I really make sure it's blended out, so maybe I'll go into the green and then go back into the Violet Voss palette. Taking a tiny bit of royal, I'm going to apply that to the outer part of the cut crease. That way it really blends in with the dark colors that we have. And like I said, I'm just going to be going back and forth between those colors. That way the line doesn't look so harsh between them. And I'm just going to blend out their edges. Using that Maybelline concealer, I'm going to draw out my wing, so just use it as if you were doing eyeliner, and then over it, I'm going to apply the hot pink that we used in the Juvia's palette. I make sure to pat the pink eyeshadow onto the concealer. I'm not really smearing it, patting it does the job. After you remove the tape, you could go ahead and get a makeup wipe and remove all the excess eyeshadow that has fallen out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and we could continue the eyeshadow. Now that we're back, I'm applying the hot pink eyeshadow from the Juvia's palette onto my lower lash line. And then we're going to be applying glitter. So I'm using the Too Faced Glitter Glue and the Visu Glitters in number 10. You could use literally any glitter that is this sort of shade. And I'm just going to apply that onto the inner half part of my lower lash line. 
In the photo, you can see that she had blue mascara, but I didn't have that. I had blue eyeliner, so I tried applying that to my lower lash line, and it kind of did the job. Off camera, I went ahead and applied some lashes. I'm using the e.l.f. ones in Starstruck. Here you have me thinking that I am done. I'm over here feeling myself and it's like, honey, no, you forgot one final step. So I forgot to add some inner corner highlight. So I went into the Violet Voss palette and I'm taking Buttercup. And then after that, you're finally done. So that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comment area what kind of videos you guys want to see or if you like this video and want to see more videos like this give me a thumbs up um thank you guys so much for everything i'll see you guys next time Mwah.